Hey, it's Lauren. Thanks so much for joining me. Today, I'm just gonna be simply talking about my current favorite makeup. Makeup I've been really enjoying, simple as that. That's, uh, that's, that's the intro. So I'll start in the, uh, well, I'll go in order of application. That seems, seems to be a good through line. So I'll talk about this. This is the Milani Soft Focus Glow Complexion Enhancer. Now, I think this is newish. Not entirely sure, said new on the display. Who knows if it's actually new, but I was curious about it because reading the back and you know a little blurb that I could quickly Google in my CVS, it kind of described itself similar to how I have heard the, the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter being described. So very multi-functional. Now it is not as glowy as the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter, such a long name, um, and it is not as creamy. That is definitely more creamy. And this has much more of like a moussey type of texture, but it feels really, really nice. It almost has like a, like a, not like pore filling in that kind of like silicone way, but it does give a bit of perfection almost like poor blurring situation. And I think it has hyaluronic acid in it. So it's actually super, super plumping, but very glowy and it feels really good. Here you can kind of see the reflect as I'm putting it on. And of course, like I did a pretty large pump and it's just on this hand. So that can be like sheared out. I have been mixing this in with foundations and also just wearing it as a primer kind of underneath. Just uh, a nice, a nice gem from the drugstore. And then this I picked up a while back. Not sure if I put it in a haul or anything, but this is the Cover FX Dewy Skin Primer. Now this um, uh, kind of looks like glue right out of the, the tube. It is a jelly, very jelly, very wet primer. Like it says, it gives very, very dewy skin. It dries down, but you still look super duper glowy. And I've loved pairing this with more matte leaning foundations or foundations that like really dry down as well as layering it over top like I'll I'll take a little bit that's left and just like put a little bit more on quick um uh, like quick cut through side shortcut there we go quick shortcut to uh dewy skin glass skin, uh, especially these two together. It's been a super beautiful combination. And yeah, that's that, really love it. And then these actually were sent to me from Clarins. They gifted me these. <laughs> and they, they sent me four of the Clarins Skin Illusion Natural Hydration Foundation. I am wearing 102.5 porcelain right now, which is a little bit dark on me, if you can kind of see. I took my foundation to here, and it's a, a little bit of a, of a difference between these two areas. But I found the shade that, both of the shades that are a step down that they sent, pulled a little bit yellow, which then was more noticeable, I felt like. But I like the way it feels. It is a serum foundation, so it's very liquidy. It has a bunch of different plant oils in it. There is alcohol pretty high up on the ingredients list, which I haven't found has bothered my skin at all, but it does make it dry down really fast. And I thought it was gonna be more of a super dewy foundation, but it's actually more of a satin foundation, and I found it to be pretty lightweight and long lasting, which has been nice. I've got another Kosas product that I've really been enjoying. This is the Cream Duo in Tropical Equinox. Kosas has, oh man, it is super messy. Well, I guess you can tell that I've been digging into it, but Kosas has two 
kinds. They have this kind, the cream, and then they have a powder. And I have a powder one as well that I like. I like the blush on that one more than the highlighter, but this one, both the highlighter and the blush, I think are fantastic. I really like some of the other blush shades in these duos, but it seems from looking at them that the highlighter is the same in all the duos, so I don't I don't want to invest in duplicates of of something. So I just I wish that they had different highlighters. But the highlighter is beautiful. It's not overly glowy, really natural, and this blush is just fantastic. It is like a slightly more peachy version of Glossier Dusk, which is just a fantastic kind of neutrally almost bronzy kind of everyday blush. So yeah, just wish wish their blushes did not have the same highlighter in all of them. So I actually picked up a lot of things from the Glossier Play launch and I've gotten along with most of the products, I've enjoyed them, but the standouts for me have definitely been the, the glitter eye gels and the vinyl lips. So if you were interested in this launch. I think these two products are like the products to check out, especially the glitter gelés. Now, it's not a biodegradable glitter, which is annoying. I heard they will be eventually updating the formula to have that, so that's good. But this color, I think this is Bijou Bijou. This one, the size of the glitter particles and just the color, the tone of it, I just have found really, really flattering. I'm wearing it right now and I have really enjoyed doing like a detailed inner corner or like a sort of line kind of smudge situation with this. And this is sold separately unless you get like the kit, but it is this detailer brush. It's this little kind of like rubbery brush that initially I wasn't going to pick up, but then I decided to get like the, the play kit. And I'm glad I got that just for the fact that it's the only reason why I would have gotten this little applicator brush thing that is super handy. And it has been really great for getting like it says, like detailed in there. And because the different glitters have different size glitter particles, when I find that some of the larger particles get really stuck together and there's a bunch of them, I, I want it to be a little bit more, have like a little bit more spacing. The tip of this really makes it handy to like some of it away. And yeah, so that, that has been great. These are uh, the two vinyls I've been wearing a lot. Oh, Vinelick, that's the name. Well, anyways, these are the two that I've been wearing the most. Bank is just like a really great kind of vampy, ready brown and ready brown, mm, just like a, like a raspberry. <laughs> and then Pony is a really nice nude. Now I'm wearing Pony and I've had it on actually for a while. So the shiny, very glossy look of it has kind of worn away, but it's a really flattering way that it wears away on the lips, I find. It doesn't get like too patchy or weird. This one, because it's a darker color, it can get a little bit patchy if I'm not wearing a lip liner. But again, as it like wears away, it still leaves behind a nice like stain that looks really pretty. So uh, I like that. I like that kind of versatility where it's super shiny, but then I can blot it down or let it wear away and uh, I still I still like the way it looks. So those guys are, are very nice. And actually, you know what? This is an older love. I've been trying to incorporate older products when I get something new. So I'm not just constantly using newer things. So this is the Burberry Eye Color in Mulberry. I have really been gravitating towards cooler toned looks as is, as is the trend right now. But I uh, had wanted to do kind of like a smoky purple kind of eye. And I pulled this out and it's like a, like a dusty gray purple. And it's a really great color for doing a single shadow look, but I've loved pairing it with this glitter gelée. And actually, I have really been enjoying pairing it with this guy as well. I've worn a couple of times. This is the Butter London Glaze and Eye Gloss in Oil Slick. Again, this is something I've had for a while. I think these 
kind of had a moment and then went away but in general like jelly kind of putty like shadows seem to be really big but this was kind of I think one of like the first types that I kind of noticed coming out on the market I know both wet and wild and ColourPop have versions of them now but this is such a unique color like it says it's oil slick so it just has a lot of dimension and placing it over top of this shadow uh, I really liked liked that combination so yeah I've been uh, circling in some older loves and then last but not least this is the elf stardust glitter eyeliner now I have a coppery version goldy coppery version of this that I used quite a bit in the fall and I saw this um, recently just hanging out on a shelf I'm going nowhere with that uh, but I picked this up recently I hadn't seen this color before and this is pink opal I did look it up and they have a couple ones that look like this like two that are kind of on this like holographic look and then a silver one so I definitely am interested in the silver one but this pink opal one is super super pretty it has that kind of typical pink leaning kind of shimmer that you see but it's really pretty and when I looked up reviews on these because I was curious to see what other people thought they, they're not that well reviewed and honestly I think people are missing out they're only a couple of bucks and it gives a really pretty easy to control wash of glitter that if you want you can use the applicator and make it more like an eyeliner but also I've just like taken a brush and then wiped a bunch of the product from the applicator onto a brush and then used it all over as well and very glowy and wet looking at the same time so I really really like this I think it's super beautiful alrighty those are my current makeup favorites that I have been having. I'm going to be doing a couple of more targeted skincare ones coming up. I'm going to be doing a mask favorites soon. But uh, anyways, that's, that's what I got going on. So I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.